Welcome to the Tournament Event YouTube channel. My name is Dustin. I got another one for y'all today. Daryl Worley, Have We Forgotten? I've done a Daryl Worley song before. It's been a while. I really like Daryl Worley. I like the way he does his stuff. And without wasting any more time, let's see what he's got. Best days are gone. Our people want united, can't even get along. Mm. Our nation so divided, our country torn in two. That's true. Our country is very divided right now, and it's it's sad. And unfortunately, the powers that be are really the ones that are really pushing this division the most. And it's and it's sad. The media is also pushing this division hard, in my opinion. But at the same time, I think in, from my experience, what I've been seeing in the world, it seems like a lot of people are really, uh, they're really starting to kind of open their eyes up and realize what's going on. And I think we're, I think we're at the beginning stages of coming back together. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And that just might be the optimistic person inside of me. But I'm I'm hopeful. It's such a shame after all that we've been through. That's a fact. Look at look at all of history, right? Everything that we've been through as a country over the the entire span of time, right? That we've been over here doing our thing all of the good all of the bad right let's not let's not try to point fingers and all that good stuff but the fact is is look at everything that we've overcome in all of the time that we've been a country that's a lot of stuff we overcome a lot we should be able to uh we should be able to come back together i think we've always been a beacon world's one shining light are we gonna let it all go wrong for the sake of being right have we forgotten who we really are all the storms we've had to weather yep. and how we ever got this far have we forgotten how it used to be when we can still sit down <laughs> I've spoken about this in a couple of videos. It's sad. It, it's a sad place that we're in. People people have such a problem nowadays being able to sit down and have a conversation with somebody else and not agreeing on that conversation or agreeing on each other's points. And just because you don't agree, you have to hate each other. Why does that have to be a thing now? Like why why can't you be respectful towards each other, not not agree on something, but still be able to be friends at the end of the day? Somebody, somebody, please get in the comments and help me understand that. It doesn't make any sense. How can we not be able to agree to disagree? Instead, we have to hate each other because our opinions don't align with each other. Let me know in the comments. Yeah. Have we forgotten? Red states and blue states, left versus right. It seems like all we ever do is fuss and fight. Yeah. That's part of it. Left and right, always at each other's throats. Blue and red, always at each other's throats. So, I mean. There is corruption and hate on both ends of that stick. That's like, I, I just, I would love to see us just get, get down on what's right and wrong. You know, 
I think it would help us get along a little better. I ain't pointing fingers. Hell, I'm guilty too. But how much more of this can we go through? The whole wide world is watching while we go round and round. <laughs> ain't that the truth? Come together, y'all. I've seen a lot of comments in recent videos that where people from other countries are commenting on my videos and saying, Hey, look, y'all aren't alone. We're going through a lot of the same stuff too, between the corruption and the, the, all the crap that's going on with politicians and stuff like that, all the bad stuff that's going on in our country. I've had a lot of people from other countries, several other countries that are saying, Hey, it's happening over here too. So we're not alone at all, but I guess the biggest, that is the biggest question is when, when are we going to put an end to all of this fighting between each other and learn how to just accept each other's differences and move forward? Have we forgotten who we really are? All the storms we've had to weather and how we ever got this far. I feel like everybody has forgotten, you know? Remember when Americans were all red, white, and blue. Yep. When it's all for one and one for all, there's nothing we can't do. Facts. Have we forgotten who we really are? How we brave the deep blue ocean with freedom in our Some people aren't going to like that line. And, it, and a lot of that has to be, is because of all the controversy that's going on in the world. The fact of the matter is our ancestors braved the great blue ocean, came over here and we built a nation as to what it is today. I love this place. The freedoms that we have over here, we're one of the few, if not one of the only countries, one of the very few, if not the only country, who allows the freedom for you to say anything negative about the leadership of the country freely and openly without any kind of backlash. I mean, if you know of another country, by all means, let me know. Hit me in the comments. But from my understanding, we're the only one. Have we forgotten how it used to be when I was there for you and brother, you were there for me. Yep. And the common good was what we had. Have we forgotten? I feel like we have forgotten. I feel like I feel like we as a country have forgotten what it means, like what our freedoms really mean anymore. We're so worried about the wrong things now 
but I don't know. I just I miss I miss I miss the old days. People could sit down and have a conversation and not be at each other's throats and hate each other because they don't agree on something. It's sad that we can't have those conversations anymore. For fear of losing all your friends, basically. But hey, it's a great song. I really think and I really hope a lot of people get to see this song. I enjoyed it. I think it has a very good, strong message. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that sub button, like, share with a friend. And go help somebody. You never know. You might save somebody's life. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you in the next one.